This video will demonstrate how you can use coverage profiling in the automated testing process. AQTime provides you with the ability to perform coverage analysis of your application. It includes the coverage and light coverage profilers that let you determine which parts of your application were executed during a test run. This feature is very useful for testers because it allows them to determine which parts of the test application's code were covered by automated tests. For example, you can easily integrate AQTime into your automated tests and test complete and profile and test your application at the same time. This lets you significantly reduce the amount of time spent for testing and coverage analysis. Today we'll demonstrate how you can use AQTime coverage profiling in automated tests. During our demonstration, we'll use this sample application that is shipped with AQTime. First, we'll create an automated test that simulates user actions over this application, and then we'll explain how to set specific settings in order to get test complete to profile our application with AQTime during testing. Okay, let's get started. As you can see, I've already created a test complete project, added the covered application to it, and recorded some actions over the application, as shown right here. We can play back this test simply by clicking on the Run button right here. And um, when we do that, Test Complete would invoke our application and then perform actions against it and then generate test results similar to these, which show a detailed list of every transaction that was performed by Test Complete. So now what I'm going to do is explain how we can simultaneously play this test back and profile the tested application using AQTimes Coverage Profiler. To run AQTimes Profiler in Test Complete, we need to set specific settings for our tested application and we do that in the tested apps editor which you get to just by double clicking on this node right here in our project. So what we need to do first is set the, prof the run mode to profile. So I'm just going to click on the drop down here, choose profile, and then here in the parameters column we're going to define exactly which AQTime profiler we want to use. So what we're going to do here is check this use AQTime project box and then specify the path to our AQTime project that we created earlier. So now when our application gets invoked, Test Complete will automatically invoke it with AQTime. AQTime will profile the application as Test Complete is running it and we'll see exactly how much of our code is being tested by our automated tests. So now I'll click OK. Alright, so now we'll run our test again here. And Test Complete is going to launch the tested application under AQTime. And while Test Complete is actually performing the test, AQTime is profiling the application. Okay, I fast forwarded a little bit here. And after the test run is over, we get our first set of results here inside of Test Complete, telling us that the test ran successfully. And then we also get a set of results here inside of AQTime. So let's take a look at the profiling results. As you can see, the results are organized into three different categories, routines data, modules data, and source files data. The source files data and modules categories let us view the summary profiling results for each source file in our application. So let's take a look at the results for this profiled application module. As you can see, our app only has the one module, and now if we, and we can see that 79.53% of that module was covered. If we take a look at the source files, we can look at each individual source file that was executed during the course of the run. And again, in this case, we only have the one, and it was also executed at 79.53%, which makes sense because we've only got one source file inside of our single module. So to know exactly what code was not executed during the course of a run, we're going to look at the profiling results of the routines data. And now the report panel is displaying profiling results for each single routine that was profiled. Let's view, for example, this coverage test routine. And you can see right here, that's marked with a yellow marker. That means that some of the lines of code were executed during the uh, test, and some were not. It only had about 55% coverage. So we can actually see what wasn't tested in this routine by looking at the editor panel in AQTime. So by selecting the routine here in the report panel, the editor palette will show you exactly which lines of code were covered and which ones weren't. You can see here in the gutter, the green circle indicates a line whose code was executed, and the red circle indicates a line whose source code was not executed. So you're actually able to see the individual results for each line of code. Now you can see here that this code contains a switch statement, uh, in which case our only the first block of code has been executed during testing. As you can see here, on lines uh, 252 and 253, those are the areas we actually executed. But then we've got lines 255, 56, and 57 
right here who were uh, not executed. So what I can interpret from this is that when the code was executed, our test uh, typed in number one into our application, but it didn't do any other test cases. For example, when two or three would be typed into the application. So to get the picture for total coverage for this application, we need to modify our test. So I'm going to come back into, my, into test complete here, go back into my test case, and what I want to do is modify my test. Now I've already modified the code ahead of time right here, and you can see um, I've made those changes so we're going to actually type 1, 2, and 3 into the text box instead of just typing the number 1. So now when we run this test it will actually cover 100 percent of the routine's source code. Now another way we could have done this would have been to come back up into our original test case and then just modify the set text command here uh, with different values. So for example we could change this from set text 1 to set text 2 which would execute the second piece of that switch statement that we just looked at. So I'm going to save this and we'll run this again. Okay, I fast forwarded a bit. We can see that we successfully entered two into that text editor. I'm going to come back into AQ time now and if we look at the line coverage test and come down into the editor palette we can see that this time around we successfully performed case two but not cases one or three. We only have execution markers on those lines that make up case two. Okay, so now what we'll do is go back into test complete and run the test a third time, this time changing it so that we'll execute the third block inside of our code. So I'm going to go ahead and run this again. Okay, again I fast forwarded a bit. You can see here we successfully entered three into our text box and if we come into AQ time and we look at the coverage test module again this time around, we see that case three was successfully performed, but the other two were not. Okay, so now what we want to do is merge these three sets of results together into a combined set of results. So the way we're going to do that is by selecting our three sets of results here, and then right click and say merge. And now AQTime has just entered in a new item down here in the merged results section. You can see it right here. and when we select on the routines data right here and come back up into the coverage test panel you can see that we now have 100 percent coverage for that particular routine because we combined result sets one two and three together now the last thing i'd like to mention here is that the explorer panel includes an auto merge option which you can use to, to merge results automatically and to activate that all you have to do is right click inside here inside the explorer panel choose options and then this options dialog check the active box here in the auto merge section and now every new result set that you generate will automatically be merged together uh, in one file this concludes our video on coverage analysis with AQ time and test complete we hope you found it useful if you have any questions please don't hesitate to contact us at the address on your screen we wish you luck and hope you enjoy profiling your applications with AQ time